Hello everyone, I am working with MRN in the northern Sarapiki area of Costa Rica and we work up here with the wild great green macaw population. And today I'm going to show you what we do uh, in our last monitoring video of this monitoring series. And we're going to show you a couple of our nest trees like this one here. We're going to show you the chicks that are in these nests and we're going to show you how chicks fledge. And we're also going to talk a little bit about how we find our trees and how we name our trees. The tree you can see me looking at in this video is called Ichthyosaur. There's two chicks in the cavity in this tree, and they're about to fledge. They're actually poking out at the moment, so we can't climb or we might scare them out. The tree naming process that we use to identify our trees is based on areas. So we give specific names to areas that have a lot of trees in them. So for example, one area is called Fictional Places. And this area has trees such as Atlantis or Pandora. Another area is dinosaurs, and it has trees such as Triceratops and Ichthyosaur. The tree you can see me climbing in this video is called Triceratops. This tree is in the dinosaur section of the breeding area. I'm about to get to the cavity, and the last time we climbed it, there was one chick in there, and she was growing quite nicely. So we're going to see if she's still in there, or if she already fledged. But, as you can see, this chick's already fledged. I looked around the area, I didn't see anything, and we didn't hear anything either. So, she must have fledged right. The camera trap footage tells us this as well. A lot of the nest trees are situated in pastures, which means there's not a lot of other trees around them, which could pose a problem for the chicks if they need to fledge because there's no trees nearby for them to fly to. So these trees get a little bit of extra attention from us. So we make sure that if the chicks are still there, that they're healthy, that they look good. And if they're not there anymore, if they already fledged, we make sure that they're not sitting in the grass somewhere, that they don't need our help maybe. <laughs> 